All right, everybody. So basically everybody killed it on the last challenge. It was actually a pretty simple challenge with the dark and light mode challenge. So I'm actually not going to review these. I'll show a few of them right now just to show that everybody did a pretty good job. But most importantly, I'm announcing a new challenge and this is gonna be a big challenge today. It's gonna be a lot more challenging. So essentially, I want you to design as a part of today's challenge, your own hero section that's a part of your own design portfolio. Now, this could be based and themed for your own personal business like, you know, GarySimon.com or it could be based on just like a fictional agency that you create or maybe it won't be fictional and might actually start building a business today. And so I'm gonna show you five different hero sections that are part of design portfolios from other designers that I think are great. And then it will be your turn in the challenge from the Figma file that we've been working on to create your own hero section. So I'll give you all the guidelines for this. You can work on this today and submit it today, hopefully within maybe four or five hours of this video being uploaded, hopefully. So it gives me enough time to review as many as I can for tomorrow's video. And what we'll do, if we get enough good entries, we're gonna keep on working on this landing page throughout the remainder of this 30 day UI UX series. I think we're on day 22 or something like that. So we only have about eight days, uh, but we can get a lot accomplished if we work every day on this. So hopefully you enjoy this, let's get started. All right, so let's go ahead and check out these portfolio hero section landing page examples. Um, the first one, these are no particular order. There's just five random ones that I chose that I thought had good, unique sort of hero sections. So the first one here is at vucko, V-U-C-K-O dot C-O, if you wanna check it out on your own. And this is just a real simple, primarily typographic based uh, sort of hero section. Um, the first part that you see that's a part of this agency's portfolio, essentially. Um, of course, there's a lot There's a lot of interactivity. You don't have to worry about that. I just wanna see the visuals here in Figma. Um, you don't have to bother with prototyping anything. Uh, but notice the, 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 the strong headline right here, which is really just their name. I typically advise against doing that. Um, but if we're just talking purely about the layout and the aesthetics and how it's unique, this is what I'm after. Um, another example here is this portfolio section of fabric.vc. I'm gonna link these all in order in the description here so you can check these out on your own. Um, but obviously they have like a 3JS sort of animation occurring up here. Again, you don't have to simulate this. I just give me the visuals without any type of animation or whatever. Um, again, just the hero section. Notice the, uh, the, the the subtle attention to details here, like the grid lines. This is a, a potential embellishment that you could add. You don't have to, of course, but I, I really like it. It's simple. Notice there's a lot of simplicity happening here. There's not like crazy big, you know, photographic based splash images and, you know, just clutter everywhere. We don't want that. Um, another example right here. This is a cool one. And again, you know, this is a 3JS background. You don't have to simulate that, but notice it's it's really strong in topography. That's what these three so far have really encapsulated these three examples. Um, here's another one. Notice strong, large type, a lot of contrast. That's another thing that takes these four examples so far together and kind of creates a uh, a theme. Think about this. This is the hero section up here. Okay, think about this. We want something unique, all right? Here's another one. This is uh, from another YouTuber, Min Pham. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Very cool, little, um, little just a single page landing page uh, portfolio. You should definitely check this out. Very strong typographically, again, as you could see. So if you go through these five examples on your own, you like open up a browser, get up different tabs, get five different tabs up and go through these and just kind of note the similarities between them. I and try to obviously not copy, but if you were to make, if I were to show you a sixth, a sixth, sixth, if I could say that, sixth version uh, of a landing page of a hero section that is of equal quality to these, what would that look like? And that's what your task is. So I'm going to head on over to Figma now, and in Lesson 11 Portfolio Challenge, right down there, that's the page we're on. This is the very simple guidelines essentially so create a portfolio here section 
Um, this is gonna be eventually a single page landing page for your design slash portfolio agency. I spelled that typo, there we go. Um, include a nav bar with either your name or an agency name. So, you know, it, like a company name or your personal name, that's fine. Um, and of course this goes in the nav bar section. Um, and then you could have like a couple, like a few different nav items. Um, for the actual menu. Create a captivating hero section for your design business. Utilize a strong headline and include a call to action of some sort. Call to action, again, is typically a button. Um, could be scroll indicator icon, could be a form field, although that wouldn't make sense for a portfolio. So you get it. Um, utilize good UI fundamentals, of course, all the things that we've been talking to and about up until this point of the course. So that means good contrast, white space, visual hierarchy, alignment, color, et cetera. Um, and then most importantly, make it unique. I don't want to see, I don't want to see this. Okay. So I want you to do a desktop design first. Okay. Um, I don't want to see something like, um, my awesome portfolio, you know, with text centered in the middle, you know, like with your little sub headline, <laughs> uh, with, you know, something in the middle and then a button down here. And then like your, you know, we want to go, we want to be more unique than that. Okay. So that's what I want to see. I cannot promise I'm going to review all of them because I get when I get quite a bit. Just try to take your time, but also not take your time because you need to submit these in time for me to be able to prepare a review video for tomorrow. And what we'll end up doing, I hope, I'm not sure, is we will continue on this same landing page except move to a different section for mostly the remainder of this series. I think we have eight or nine days left, uh, maybe just eight days. And I think this is something that we could all work towards and we could see how these landing pages end up taking shape eventually. So we'll see how that goes. I'm looking forward to seeing your entries and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.